Hi, um, I'm Gareth. I hope you're doing okay. I'm going to share a little bit about my story of how God has guided me. <clears throat> so, uh, as you may or may not know by now, I uh, was born and raised in a place called Hitchin, Hertfordshire, <clears throat> uh, just sort of near Luton Stevenage. And in actual fact, I really believed that I was going to stay there and, and live there all my life. And I could never see myself uh, moving away from Hitchin. I remember talking to someone saying, um, I really admire these people who get called by God to go different places. You know, I could never do that. Uh, that's not me. It sounds crazy. Um, well, as it, as it turns out, um, I did move out of Hitchin. And this is the story of how that happened. Um, so I was uh, praying at the end of my bed. I felt this disquiet in my soul. Um, and I prayed at the end of my bed and I said, God, if you were going to send me somewhere, where would you, you know, where would you send me? Tell me where you'd send me and I'll go. Or if you want me to do anything, let me know what it is you want me to do. So I prayed, but, you know, a lot of times we pray, but we don't listen to what God is saying. So I just listened. And I didn't hear anything, but I but I gave God the opportunity to speak. Now, <clears throat> when I went out of the house, I put my sat nav on my phone, and because um, I was going somewhere, I didn't know where I was going, so I put the sat nav on my phone. My phone was telling me I was a hundred miles away in Burton on Trent. I was like, that's weird. Um, I completely forgot about my prayer about asking God where He wants me to go and that sort of thing. Um, so I, I turned my phone off, turned it back on again. It still said the same thing. So I took a screenshot of it thinking, well, maybe God's trying to say something. I didn't kind of connect the dots. Took a screenshot um, and went about my day. And then later, I believe it was that week, uh, later that week, I had a meeting. Um, and in that meeting, they actually said, you know, we're thinking um, about uh, changing your role and and and." You know, we want you to pray about it. We, we don't know exactly what, but we want you to pray about it. So I went away and obviously prayed about it. But that brought the significance of, of that direction uh, that God had given me. So I started thinking about that. And uh, I met with my mentor and I said, you know, this is what's happening. Uh, they're thinking of, of changing the role and, and my role might not be there now. And that sort of thing with my job. And my mentor said, well, you know, well, why don't you go and visit uh, Burton and, and see see what happens? So I went and visited Burton on Trent um, and I spent the day in prayer and, and uh, fasting and thinking about that. And um, whilst I was walking around, I remember going into, um, into Costa and I got a text message from a friend. And that text message... Um, was the very same Bible verse she gave me that God first gave me when I became a youth worker. When I first became a youth worker, I didn't think I would be able to do it. I thought it was too much, you know, it, I just, you know, I wasn't sure about myself. And God gave me this Bible verse and it says, um, I will lead you and I will guide you. I will take you by your right hand and lead you to a glorious destiny. And so that really gave me confidence as a youth worker that, I wasn't on my own. God would take me by my right hand, just as a father guides a child, um, that I could be confident that God would lead me. So um, this lady, unknowing where I was and what I was doing that day, I was visiting Burton on Trent. She sent me this text message and it was and I couldn't believe it. I was like, is it the same verse? It can't be the same verse. That's just too much of a coincidence. What's the possibilities of that happening? The same verse that that launched you into your career as a youth worker being given you again when you're in a new place where you think God is sending you. Um, so I was pretty sure it was, but I, I got home and I checked it in my Bible. I'll put a picture up here of the verse where it's marked in my Bible when I first started uh, full-time ministry in youth work. And, um, and it was the same verse. And I was like, wow, you know, I think God is definitely confirming here through prayer and science. And then, um, so I uh, had a bath just to relax and chill about the day. And I had a, um, a bottle of Corona, uh, which I hardly ever 
uh, drink because it, it was expensive or it seems to be expensive out of beers uh, just to chill out and I thought oh you know I think in Burton there's like a beer factory I wonder if this is and I looked at the thing and it said um, bottled in Burton on Trent um, so I was sort of started laughing to myself that God was guiding me through a beer Bible and sat nav um, and um, I do know now that I think Corona is bottled in Luton so it would have been a different story and and I know that you know that I I never normally I know it sounds a bit silly but I, I never drink Corona um, and it just so happened I happened to have it on that day when I was looking for God's guidance that sort of thing um, so these coincidences keep happening or God incidents as my friend says um, so um, so that was a bit of an encouragement there and then I spoke to my mentor again and talked about that and said well and lots of other things happened I probably haven't got time to go into sadly um but my mentor said well let's go up there and visit and um you know lots of things happened where some ministers had messaged him about a need there and we met with some great leaders there some people from youth for christ and um, from a church there that i went to um and they were chatting to me about that and actually whilst i was in uh sainsbury's uh this was another strange uh fun fact was this lady that we didn't know the people at the table didn't know she came up to us she goes oh i could hear you talking she goes she goes i'm i think she was a christian from somewhere some other church or something or other and she goes she says i heard you talking i said all i can say to you is something along the lines of um whatever god tells you to do do it and um i, I mean that's what i got out of it i thought <laughs> i thought it was amazing and then she went and sat back down i was like what what's going on here um, so lots and lots of things happen like that. I would have to do this message for about an hour probably to go through it all. Um, but so what happened was the eventual thing is I moved out of Hitchin 100 miles north to Burton on Trent to a place I never thought I'd go and never thought I would move out of Hitchin. And really just that encouragement that, that God uh, can guide us and lead us and give us directions. And a very important Bible verse for me is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 8. Um, and also, if you want to look stuff about guidance, um, Charles Stanley's done some really good stuff as well. There's lots of bits and pieces in the Bible. Um, and um, uh, Artie Kendall did a message about it as well that I thought was really good. Um, but go ahead and look at those things. But let, you, let um, me encourage you today that God can guide us even... Um, in surprising ways that I thought I would live and die in, in Hitchin. Um, but as it turns out, God has uh, given me guidance um, and I've moved in lots of different places in the country now um, out of my beloved Hitchin, which I still love and I miss. Um, so be blessed today in Jesus name. Amen.